Hey YouTubers, welcome back for another adventure. 2019 was my best year on YouTube and December was my best month ever. And what I'd like to do with this video is kind of offer you some of my experiences and some of the ways I got to where I've gotten to. For those of us who make YouTube videos, you realize very quickly there is no instruction manual on how to do it, how to get the most views, where to go, and you know how to make things better. So given the improvement in my channel, I figured I'd share some of that today. I got on YouTube in October of 12 and gradually started to increase the number of videos I made. I guess I really kind of got serious in uh, 2015. My channel has grown. I'm to the point where I have uh, 19,000 subscribers. My channel has gotten 8.5 million views. I have something like 2,000 videos up. Um, and it's to the point where I get a, um, a little check every month. So I would consider myself a mid-size channel, right? You kind of have the smaller channels, the ones that are just getting started, maybe just getting to the point where you get a check every other month. Typically, you have to have $100 in the YouTube bank, YouTube account to get a check. So I consider the small channels just starting or just barely getting a check. Mid-sized channels are kind of the ones where you get a check every month. And I consider the larger channels when you get a check with uh, thousands <laughs> every month. So there's the way I'm going to define it. I already went through my statistics. Now let's talk about um, how much one could expect to make per video. I bought this three-wheeled hauler for a hundred bucks. I've made a bunch of videos on it and let's say all told my videos for this hauler in the, in the next month I'm gonna get about 2,000 views. I make about a half a penny per view uh, in December. You make a little less in January like half as much. <laughs> <laughs> right? December's the best month. So, how much money am I going to make on those 2,000 videos? Somewhere between 7 and 10 bucks. So, for 2,000 views, 7 to 10 bucks for this guy. Obviously, paying $100 for it, I've kind of lost money. So, for this particular deal, it was not a money maker. But, I also made a video on repairing garage door cables the cables that lift your garage with the help of a spring and that video makes somewhere between five and ten dollars a month so if I put up a video like this and it makes seven to ten dollars in the first month and this video is regularly kicking ten dollars a month I only need to dig up eighty dollars more and I'll get my hundred dollar check and in my case, I have 2,000 videos in my library, a bunch of them on um, electronics, CDIs for these all-terrain vehicles. They do pretty well. So when you add it all up, I break my 100 bucks a month and I get a check. And I guess I'm telling you guys this because this particular deal is not really paying the bills. That particular cable video is paying the bills. I have a friend who made a video on how to tie a tie. You know those things men have to wear, or I guess uh, some women wear them also. When you go out someplace formal, you put a tie on. He made a video on how to tie a tie, did very well. He also made a video on uh, bleeding an oil furnace um, line. If you run out of oil, then you put some in and you fire it up how to get the air out of it so your oil furnace would run. Both his videos did very, very well. So, just about the video content, figure you're going to make somewhere between 0.2 and 0.5 cents per view. And <laughs> realize if you don't get something really hot out there um, to pay the bills, it's 
you're just not going to make a lot of money. As you're also making videos, if you make longer videos, a lot of times more than one commercial will be put on there and uh, more than one format. If you go with a three minute video, you might just get the stringer across the bottom. You don't get paid very much for that. You might be more than, more like your 0 .1, 0 0.2 cents. Where if you have a video that's long enough and they put a few long commercials in it because you're getting enough views where they feel as if putting a long commercial makes sense, you'll make more money on that video. I'm talking specifically about my videos. I typically figure I'm going to get a half a penny per view. Another thing that will help grow your channel, get you more subscribers, more views, um, is if you find someone to mentor. Many of you are looking at this retired meter maid car. I sold one of these to a friend of mine, Musty One, who has a pretty big channel. So people watched his channel about hit the um, meter maid vehicle. He fixed it up on his channel. And he mentioned that it came from Harvey Spooner. So the next thing you know, you have a big channel with a lot of subscribers recommending a small channel, in my case, Harvey Spooner and um, Hoarding Mayhem. And people started to, to watch um, my videos also. So it's kind of um, Musty One mentored me. Um, also, about Musty One, he and I have actually become friends. Um, when I have a YouTube question, I'm able to call him up and ask him that question. Um, typically, he knows the answer or has an opinion on it, which kind of moves me in one direction or the other. He's uh, made a lot of suggestions uh, to my channel, particularly like when it comes to thumbnails, you know, that thing you see there, right? Um, if you make a video on how to tie a bow tie, let's say, and you put an interesting thumbnail up with an interesting title on the thumbnail, which could be different than your video title, it kind of gives you a way of having people watch your video, right? Like, if I use this video as my main page video, some people would stop by because seeing a wrecked meter made <laughs> car would be interesting to them but other people would say what does this have to do with growing my youtube channel right i don't know i might put it up as my thumbnail just because i kind of like the picture this year andrew camarada really helped grow my channel i bought this um honda atc 200 and i bought this suzuki um, quad runner 4x4 from him so I went to pick him up and I happened to bring my camera along with me and Andrew for those of you who know him personally he's a cool guy and you know I brought the camera out and I said hey could I take some video of loading these on my truck here at your house and he said sure I said is there anything you don't want me to take right you know you don't want to see uh, you, you know an image of any any item and he said no 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 I I shoot video of my stuff all the time don't worry about that so I shot videos of this and the other all-terrain vehicle and he let me shoot a video of his um, castle his shipping container castle that that he's building as a matter of fact he's working on it now he let me shoot video of Levi of his view of some of his toys so he was really really cool about it and we were talking on the video and um, I mentioned his name you know that I bought these from Andrew Camarada and next thing I knew some of his subscribers were coming over to watch my videos. Really helped my channel grow. Um, obviously, you don't want to just show up at some other YouTuber's house with your camera and lights 
and start shooting video of all his stuff. Some people are have a tendency to be private. In my case, my wife would completely freak out if that happened, right? She doesn't even like me shooting video of my stuff. So one has to be careful with that. But between um, Musty One and Andrew Camarada, they've done a lot to get my my channel moving. A few other suggestions. I shoot most of my videos outside, outdoors, and I've discovered that if I keep all my cameras in this box, right, here's my GoPro, right, batteries for charging this battery should I be away, right, there's the spot this thing goes. I'm in my hand is a Sony camera, it looks very much like the Samsung. I guess the Sony is known as a handy cam. I am most comfortable using that. More recently, I've started to include the um, GoPro. You can see that's a Hero 4 in my camera repertoire. Different people use um, different cameras and they're happy with them, like you, Dizzy. Uh, another great guy on YouTube uses uh, mostly his phone, um, Ed Moore. Um, he uses kind of a, he's got like a ring around his camera and he clamps it onto things. So different people use different things. Kind of it's like whatever you're comfortable with. But when it comes to views, the better your, 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 the quality of your videos, the better the content, the better the... I don't know, videology, right? You know, if you're shaking the camera like this all the time, it won't take folks all that long to give up watching your videos, right? Um, y you know, the better the video quality will grow your channel, the better your video content will grow your channel. So I think I've hit um, most of the big stuff um, on, on growing one's channel. I got to say... Get your thumbnails up, right? Musty One really suggested that in my case, and he was very right about it. Getting the thumbnails up when somebody does a search and they could pick your video or somebody else's video, if or you know your tags also, right? If you made a video on how to fix garage door cables and your tag is video one, how is anybody going to find that on search? You better put something on there, repairing garage door, repairing garage door cables, garage door cables, right? Garage door maintenance and on and on and on, or nobody's going to find your video, right? Video one is nice, but unless you already have some huge subscriber base who cares about video number two they're not going to show up there's no way they're ever going to find you so um once again tags thumbnail once they they follow your tags that you want them to look at your thumbnail and say hey that's something pretty cool there i want to watch that video growing your channel if you have a mentor or two right somebody who shares your interest somebody to give you advice somebody to recommend your channel or multiple people to recommend your channel i that that really helps grow if not you got to rely on search and once again if your tags aren't very good and your thumbnail isn't very good why would any how could anybody find you right luck um remember youtube makes their money by the number of people that watch your videos and nobody's going to watch your videos if they can't find it which means youtube isn't going to push your video if nobody is watching them it's kind of a catch-22 situation lastly well i hope you guys enjoyed this video please uh you know put your comments any other suggestions you may have please um once again, comment most importantly. Please subscribe and please come back and watch some more. Bye now.